Welcome back to SA Live. Bust out your construction paper and glue gun because we're getting crafty. Since we're spending lots of time at home, might as well make it ready for the Easter Bunny. We are planning on dyeing eggs as well. Well, here are some fun, easy projects to help you and the kids hop right into Easter. Stephanie Pena Frost. I'm here today to do four fun crafts for you and your family that'll get you in the Easter spirit. You'll need construction paper, two different colors. You'll need yarn, some paint for the cheeks, glue gun, scissors. To make the horn, you want to use some fun glittery paper. All you do is you cut a nice triangle out of it like that. Take your piece of construction paper. Find your glitter unicorn horn. Glue it. So then you cut out ears and the separate color for the inside. Turn it over. Take your marker. And you want to do your eyes. You want to glue the edge. The next thing we do is you're going to make a little pom-pom for its head. So you want to get a couple of different colors of yarn and just wrap it around your fingers a couple of times. Cut it. And then take another piece. Tie it in a knot. Like that. And then take your scissors. Cut that again. And then you want to cut it short for the nose, for that tuft on top of its head. The next step, you want to take the glue gun, just put a little dab right there. And then put your little hair. Next, take your tail, the long piece. Put some glue on that. There you go. You got your silly little unicorn. So for this next craft, we're going to be doing bunnies. What you need is a, two toilet paper rolls, a pair of scissors, craft paint, a paintbrush. Cut two toilet paper rolls in half. Then you want to take your glue gun and glue two halves together. This will make the ears, the body shape. And you take some white paint. Take some green paint. And do cute little grass. We are going to make bird feeders with peanut butter and a Texas blend bird seeds. So you want to take the twine, pull it, put it through the toilet paper roll, and then tie a knot on top, because this will be the hanger. Then next, you want to take your peanut butter and just smear it. And then next, you just want to get it all those seeds all are on it. And you got your nice little bird feeder. So this next one, we're gonna be doing Easter fruit kebabs for the kids. They do some nice antibacterial. And then 
I did wipe everything down beforehand. So what you want to do is you want to take your skewer and a piece of fruit and then push it down. Maybe a piece of mango. And a nice little colorful kebab for your kids. You know, her dog was probably smelling the peanut butter because he was Again. barking like, oh, I want some. <laughs> but those are great ideas. Now, Stephanie will start doing regular craft lessons and posting them on her Facebook page. She also is selling tons of different Easter creations. You can find some of them and a like and a like to her Etsy store, a link to her Etsy store, all on her Facebook page. There's a link to that on our website. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.